Hey, Katie Taylor here, and today's video is showing you a title page for my 2023 Days of December album with the creative design team and our brand new 6x8 sketchbook. So in today's video, I am going to be making the title page to my Days of December using our brand new sketchbook. The creative design team last year did a 6x8 December or daily or days of December type um, sketchbook. And this one we've just titled um, 6x8 Sketchbook Volume 2 because we realized that after using that for our days of December, you could use it for so much more. So don't forget to click um, more on the description and expand that description. And I'll have a link to the sketchbook as well as all of our products. And I am going to probably be using this sketch right here. I love it because it's just kind of big. It's got some layers to it, which I love. So that should be wonderful for a title page. Now, as far as my paper collection, um, I haven't, I'm so far behind this year, but I haven't really decided what I'm going to use I probably am going to use the home for Christmas. Now that is sold out. Um, so depending on how much else I use home for Christmas for, I thought that I would do my title page using the mix in collection from the September, October catalog. And you can see here, it's just got the blacks and the red and the green. And then I've kind of pulled in a neutral color as well. So love this. We'll probably use this side. And then, of course, that gingham. And then, of course, this pine. And then, although I love this design, I'm probably going to use this one. And it's just kind of got little speckles in it. And plus, I love this zip strip or this branding strip. So being that it's only one 6 by 8 it's going to come together pretty quickly. I'm going to go ahead and cut these off camera so you don't have to sit through that. And then we can get started. So I am always going to start with a six by eight piece of cardstock. And even though this uh, wonderful black kind of chalky mix in looks like it covers the entire page, I don't have to waste three inches of it. And especially if I'm going to end up using the mix in collection for the majority of this album, there's no way that I could afford to do a whole six by eight uh, base and still have some to kind of sprinkle throughout. Definitely not use big, huge chunks of. So I've just cut that to span this, and then in the middle is where that middle piece will go. So there are a couple of elements that go down first. There is this tag. Now I used the tabs, the tags and tabs thin cut. This is one of my favorite. These tags, not only does it come in a square, but it also comes in a rounded, and then it comes with two tabs. The reason I love these tags is they're such a great size. Um, they're not too big, not too small, but they are big enough that if you wanted to journal on them, you definitely could do that. For this purpose, this tag is purely um, an embellishment, if you will. And then I have this gingham mix-in collection or mix-in paper. My tape is hanging over the edge and I love it. I kind of am trying to decide if I want, see how it ends with white stripes? I'm trying to decide if I want it to end in white or scarlet. So since that one ends in white, definitely need this top one to end in white as well. So I'm going to do that one about right there. And just kind of rough fit this one. Okay, and then now I can come in with this piece. I love this piece. And then I just thought that it needed kind of capped off, I guess, if you will. So I cut a zip strip from this cranberry piece. I cut it in quarter increments. So it's just going to give that little bitty edge to that. This would also be a perfect place to add either some glitter paper or some shimmer trim. I'm just not sure. I used shimmer trim in 2022 
And so I usually like to kind of change it up. So I don't know if Shimmer Trim is actually going to be in there. If I decide that it will be on the other pages, then I will find a way to definitely put just a little bit on this cover page. Because I feel like the cover page kind of sets the tone for the entire album. So see how that just kind of capped that off? I love that. So now it is time for this piece. Now what I love about this piece is it's meant to be kind of a Polaroid style. And although I am not putting a photo on this, I am going to keep it with, I'm going to keep with the Polaroid style. So I've got that one. And then I have this piece of um, White Daisy. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of ink. Now this is black, but... I'm not adding any more black ink, even though I could because I've got that black kind of chalkboard paper. I want it really subtle. Again, setting the tone. I don't know if I'm going to add ink to all my photo mats going throughout the um, album. And if I did a harsh black, that definitely would kind of let you know that they were all going to be done. I'm not so sure about that. So on my title page, I am going to have 23. I thought about doing 2023, 20, but in the end, I think I'm just gonna do this. So I'm gonna do that. Now, as far as my days of, I am going to use the Dainty Script. I've used this over and over and over again, and I absolutely love it. Let me put these numbers back right quick. And let's just make a pencil mark so I will know where to stamp. So that can be December. So I'm going to stamp it first. So I prefer a bigger block when I'm stamping um, titles, especially ones like this where it can um, connect and that way I can see it. The only thing you have to be careful of is you have to make sure that you're not getting ink anywhere around the block that can transfer to your project. If you are wondering how I knew that December would fit on here, I did not. I was purely hoping and praying and wishing. <laughs> Sometimes alphabet stamps are close enough together that you can kind of judge, you know, a five letter word and you can kind of measure A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or how, you know, well, I guess you'd go to only um, E, but you can kind of do that. This one, I just guessed. Okay, so then now we're going to do days of. So D, A, Y, S, O, F. So I can kind of, kind of start you know what, actually, I think I'm going to bring in another alphabet stamp for days of to kind of get that typography type look. Decided to go with the starter alphabet. It's a wonderful kind of block style alphabet. It's going to add some boldness to this page. It's also a little bit distressed, which I like. Is it for the stamping now we can get this adhered down if you attended the creative design team 2023 20, days of dis I mean uh, 31 days of Christmas <laughs> um, you probably saw where I lost the pen to my barely art glue and so I had to use a different one and oh my gosh it was horrible you don't realize how much you love something until you can't use it. Anyways, I had a uh, had a couple of people tell me that quilting needles are thin enough to fit in here. Now, I did go ahead and I purchased another one, um, but if you ever lose it, just know, because I'm almost out of this, but if you ever lose it, just know that quilting ne needles, evidently, 
I don't know how this is supposed to go. We'll do that. And then now we need to find some embellishment clusters. So I've pulled out my tray of Home for Christmas stuff. There's um, the die cut shapes. I love these. They're, they're layerable, if that's a word. I really am thinking I want to do the poinsettias. I'm going to have to build another one down there. So you've also got candy canes. You've got the stocking you see there. Um, you have a mailbox. You have ornaments. Just super fun things. And then, of course, I've got some stamped images here. So I've got a little Christmas present. I've got some words. I'm probably definitely going to use some of these gorgeous things up here. So these just get layered on top of, um, in, in this instance, on top of that black paper board. But like in the stocking, the black paper board gets layered on top of the candy apple. And even though I've got scarlet in here, I think it's okay to bring in that lighter red with the candy apple. It's also going to allow me to kind of fit in these little sprigs where I want them after the fact. It helps if you have a little box that you keep all of your stuff in that you're going to be using uh, during December. Um, I haven't done a box, I haven't done a video on my box yet. For this year but I did one last year so I'll leave it linked below if you want to check it out um, just kind of shows you how to keep organized if you had everything in one place just makes it a whole lot easier so I like that I feel like there should be another heart but no you know what I think I'll use some sparkles Right, let's do a little bit of cleanup here and erase my lines and then let's add some white gel pen to this little booger right here and then you can also add some to these so one other thing, if you are new here, I do not like tags without something in them. So I am going to add some ribbon up there. I'm going to go with some jute because of the toffee and the letters right there, or the numbers right there. I just feel the layout needs a little bit of that brown. And so I purposely did not tape all the way to the top of this tag so I could add some of that and I am going to tie a bow and then just have those little tails hanging down and then you can always take micro glue dots which is what I like to do and you can manipulate those tails to stay where you want them to stay So in this case, I think I want it up there. And that other one where it fell naturally, I really like that. I'm going to move it over just a little bit. Other than that, I like that. Okay, so we are done with my title page. Don't forget that this is part of the collab featuring our new 6x8 sketchbook so I'll leave links down below to the sketchbook as well as all the products that I used and that video from last year showing you how I organize my days of December in a little handy tote it's all in one place if you want to do that 
And if you missed our 31 Days of Christmas cards, that is open on the replay. I'll leave a link down below. Don't forget to like and comment this video. And if you aren't already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications so you won't miss another crafty video. Thanks, and I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday.